Hi, welcome to What's Up? I'm Raymond. Well, if you missed the second round of the Fun for All Under the Stars for the year, fret not as we bring you the highlights of the event. And not forgetting the results of the Long Jeans Hong Kong International Races. As part of the Singapore Turf Club's corporate social responsibility effort, the biannual Fun for All Under the Stars open house event was another success. While the rain kept everyone indoors, it did not damper the nice atmosphere. Let's check out the highlights. It was another night of family fun at the race course as over 3,000 members of the public soaked in the atmosphere of the Fun for All Under the Stars event. Ever popular colouring contest saw children of all ages showing off their creativities and imagination, while plenty of game stores kept the rest busy and entertained. Balloon lovers queued patiently to receive their unique balloons from the sculptor, while those into face painting had a good time at the face painting stations. Public also got to see real action from the stars of the turf at the trial gallops. A total of $1,660 from the pony ride proceeds were donated to the club's adopted charity, Tai Hua Fon Epic Center at Woodlands. In the meet and greet session, STC mascots, Razor and Clover continue to entertain the kids as they get up close and had their photos taken together. The night ended with the announcement of the coloring contest results as five lucky winners walk away with prizes. Racing in Hong Kong reaches its climax every December with the Long Jeans Hong Kong International Races. There's no exception this year. The results of the four featured races are up and let's see who did the best. The Long Jeans Hong Kong International Racers Meeting is a jewel of the horse racing in Hong Kong featuring four international Group 1 races with total prize money of Hong Kong $72 million up for grabs. In the Long Jeans Hong Kong Vars, leading jockey Zach Purton rode dominant to a spectacular success. Kept at the back of the field until the final turn, dominant won by three-quarter lengths over the field. Dunedin storming home, but it's dominant in front of the 100 metres to run. The Fug and Dunedin can't get there and dominant. It's been a big year for Zach Burton. I came into it really, really well and, you know, obviously got there a little bit soon, but everything inside me was getting cluttered up and I thought I'd just take the opportunity to try and put a march on him and see if he could hang on and he'd done that. The Long Jeans Hong Kong bars has never been kind to local runners and only one Hong Kong runner had won it in the past 19 runnings. In the Long Jeans Hong Kong Sprint, Japanese horse Lord Kanalo won the race for a second year with Yasunari Iwata on board for a win of five lengths over Ireland's Soul Power. Lord Kanaloa, he's going to make it back-to-back -back wins in the sprint. He's swung song of racing. He's waving to the crowd, Lord Kanaloa. Away he goes. It was a brilliant win for second straight years in the event for Lord Kanalo, and a five-year-old completes his career with 13 wins from 90 starts for Lord Horse Club. Over at the Long Jeans Hong Kong Mound, Hong Kong runners took out a clean sweep in the top three places. Douglas White had glorious days to secure a three-quarter length win for trainer John Size. It's gold fun in front of Glorious Days. The outside it looms. Packing Wiz going to third for Glorious Days. Great training performance by John Size. Going in cold and winning the Hong Kong mile. Glorious Days. It was always going to be difficult for the front markers to, to stay there. But having said all that, you know, it's a, a great training performance from John Size. To go into Group 1 first up and be as confident as what he was, you've got to give it to the man. The feat from a white barrel 13 was definitely exciting as Glorious Days had just returned from a six months layoff without any preparation race prior to the event. At the final race, the Long Jeans Hong Kong Cup. Runners from various countries far for the win, but it all came down to Hong Kong runner Akit Moffat upsetting the end pacing. Here he comes, Akit Moffat rests the lead in the cup and Akit Moffat draws away to beat Tokai Halo. I was trying to sneak up the rail quietly, but um, he rolled back to the rail and uh, I just I had too much horse underneath me, so I was able to come back and just pop to his outside and, yep, he got up and, and did his job. You know, it's, it's a great privilege working with these top jockeys because uh, we saw him in big trouble on the rail there and it was all due to the skill and expertise of Douglas and um, we're very lucky to have him associated with the stable. Owner Pan Sun Tong is pleased that Akit Moffat joins the Hong Kong Cup Hall of Fame 
alongside the international winners in the hard-fought Hong Kong $22 million race. Till next time, we look forward to more exciting racing in the Long Jeans Hong Kong International Races. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of What's Up. For more racing information, log on to turfclub.com.sg. See you next time.